Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode with Annette Calfon. And today we're going to do beautiful landscape with oil painting on canvas. On the plate you see the colors we are going to use to draw the landscape. I use linseed stand oil from Daler Rene. I mix it, usually I mix it in the same amount of the low or the thinner from them. For today painting I'm going to use the Georgian oils paint from the company Dalerone also. This is an intro set that you can find any, in any art store and you can also find this in uh, Walmart. It's very cheap, uh, under $10 and you can really start doing great job. I'm going to use professional canvas 12 inch by 16 inch from Windsor Newton. This is comfortable canvas, it's not expensive and for everyday practicing you can really use this. You also can get it very cheap in uh, Walmart. So let's, go, let's start. What are we waiting for? This jar I'm using to clean the brushes. I got this jar from uh, AC Moore. It's an art store and in this jar I'm putting thinner to clean the brushes. The pad that I have in the bottom helped me clean the brushes and doing better cleaning job. Okay, so we can start painting. First step, I'm loading a little bit paint on the edge of the brush and I'm trying to think the composition of the picture that I want to draw. Um, now I'm just going to do a sketch of the image that I want to draw. So let's do it together. So at first I'm trying to find the horizon line. I'm trying to measure where the sky starts. And I'm just sketching around uh, what I want, putting everything on the place. So let's do it. I'm trying not to load a lot of paint on the brush. Uh, I'm just trying to mark where is the rocks, where is the river start, where, where it's end. And I'm just trying to put like uh, marks in each place and to measure with my eyes the distance and where I'm going to put each of the object that are in, uh, in the picture. So, just try to do the same. So I finished the sketch and now I want to start paint. So how are we going to start? We're going to start from the farthest place on the uh, picture. I'm going to start with the background, with the sky, and after I'm going to go to the closest object. I would like to start with the green color of the trees, and I'm going to show you how to do green color. So I can use the, the regular green color from the tube, and mix it with yellow, and make it a little bit lighter or a little bit darker, as I want. This is one option. You see, I mix it together and it becomes a little bit lighter. The other option is to take from the blue and to mix it with yellow. Just like this and I have the same color. I have green. Now I, I mix the yellow with the blue and I have dark green but I want to create some values. I want to have a little bit more lighter and variety of, of green color that I can play with the trees. 
so I'm going to take a little bit from the dark that I mixed from the blue and the yellow and I'm going to mix it with a little bit more from the yellow the purpose for this mixing is to get few shades values of color that I can differentiate contrast and highlight on the canvas and you can do the same and you're gonna see the result and it's gonna be so fun The technique that I'm using in this painting is a la prima technique, wet on wet, meaning the color is still wet and I'm painting on the top of this. I'm not waiting to any layer to get it dry. On my brush, I use paint with thinner. In this stage, I rather not touch the mixing of the oil and the thinner. I prefer only to use the plain thinner with the color. The color that comes from the tube has a little bit oil into this. So I don't really need so much oil uh, right now. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just using the thinner, a little bit thinner with a little bit color and I'm tapping, tapping, tapping to make the trees with different values. You see the colors? Here is a little bit darker, here is a little bit lighter. Painting with different shades of values create contrast. This contrast is very important because it differentiates the highlights and the darks in the picture and it makes the picture more realistic. In this jar, I put a little bit oil from the linseed oil with a little bit thinner, the same amount, and I'm mixing this together. And now I'm going to start to use this mixing for the painting. I use the mixing of the oil and the thinner. I load color on the brush with a little bit from the mixing and I just tap it around the canvas and making the contrast. Some places are gonna be lighter, some places going to be darker. There is a magic to the colors. Look what happened. You know, color is magic. You can play with this and you can see many, many things that you don't realize can come up. You don't have to be a really professional artist. You just need to want to do something with the colors. They're going to help you. They're going to make themselves. They're going to make the picture. Watch it. Let your hand just do it and they're going to make the result. Interesting, huh? So we learned how to paint landscape. Now you're going to watch it. And I'm going to speed the video. So enjoy the rest of the tutorial.